Hello everyone, my name is Cheyenne Ollie and I am a current student in the Higher Education and Student Affairs Master Program here at GCU. My hopes and goals for this degree program are to learn how to become a more effective educator that my students can look to for motivation and inspiration. The course Servant Leadership in Student Affairs has taught me the importance of understanding different leadership styles and how to emulate these into my teaching. Becoming an effective educator who motivates students and achieves organizational and departmental goals relies on relationship building skills. To build successful relationships, student affairs professionals must understand the different leadership models and how to use, utilize them as a tool in their teaching. Further, it is necessary that educators understand the leadership style that most closely aligns with their goals and style and use it to identify potential challenges regarding their relationships. When a professional can identify and embody a leadership style successfully, they will be more likely to motivate their community and achieve department goals. The leadership model that I feel most closely aligns with my personal style is servant leadership. This is a model of leadership that uses distinct characteristics including listening, empathy, healing, building a community, awareness, and stewardship to build effective relationships between the leader and a community. This was coined by Robert K. Greenleaf and is thought of as a philosophy for living. As a student affairs professional, my goal is to ensure my students are motivated, growing, and able to find their purpose. The goals and values of servant leadership often align with those of student affairs professionals. In both, the leader is self-aware and puts their needs aside to serve the community. They both work to build trust by listening to everyone within the group and being empathetic to their situations. They are not afraid to admit to their mistakes and take accountability for issues that arise. Building positive relationships is necessary to ensure the prosperity and growth of a community. Servant leaders along with student affairs professionals use collaboration and teamwork to build relationships between themselves and their community. There is an openness between the leader and their community that fo fosters followership. Asking the community questions and listening when they answer is crucial for determining a course of action. Susan Ritchie discusses different methods for leaders along with professionals to use that, to use that help build healthy relationships. These methods include setting high expectations for their team and following up with them to ensure they are doing their part. As a leader, one must devote time to establish goals, values, and a vision. This provides a bond between the leader and the team. Maintaining a strong bond within a community is key in developing followership. Maintaining positive relationships relies on personal experience and should improve over time. When it comes to building positive relationships as a professional, I have found that being respectful and present is essential. Some positive relationship building experiences I have experienced include Talking with each student about their goals for my course and following up with surveys on how their experience has been and allowing for feedback. Another example includes praising my students for their achievements and allowing them to celebrate. This has fostered positive relationships by allowing my students to measure their progress. Lastly, admitting my mistakes and remaining aware of myself has helped build positive relationships. This is because when you allow students to see that even professionals and leaders make mistakes, they can see we are human too and it creates a bond and trust between the student and professional. All professionals and leaders should constantly work to better themselves for the success of their community. Along with my success, I have also faced many challenges in building relationships with students. For example, before understanding that all students are different, I assumed that each student had the same goal for my course and that led to some misunderstandings and room for improvement. Another challenge I have faced has been healing those around me. Healing others can be difficult because it takes a great deal of listening and understanding. However, this is something I work on daily because it is rewarding to build positive relationships. Lastly, foresight in predicting the outcome of situations has proven to be a challenge for me. Understanding one's success and challenges and working on bettering them will result in better relationships and effective educating. Gaining followers or students who look up to you is key for the success of a servant leader and student affairs professional. Having a group of people who trust in you and look to you for guidance and leadership creates a space for change and inspiration. Therefore, different skills such as stewardship, persuasion, healing, empathy, listening, and awareness are necessary. Followership means motivating and inspiring the community around you. It shows your humanity and allows those around you to see that you are human like them. Developing followership takes time and effort from the professional or leader. To successfully develop followership, one must prioritize educating students and remaining motivated to teach. It is important to ensure the needs of everyone along with the team are being met. 
As a professional, one should utilize their skills and knowledge as a tool in gaining followership. Using collaboration and gaining the trust of those around you by prioritizing their needs will be helpful in developing followership. A leader must be open, authentic, and aware to make connections and decisions with their followers. To become an effective educator and build strong relationships, professionals should look to servant leaders as a guide. Servant leaders reflect positive relationship building skills that help them develop followership and lead a community. Understanding the different leadership models and applying the one that matches one's style is necessary for building relationships to achieve organizational and departmental goals. Thank you.